Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margarita and today I'm here to bring you my book Tubathon TBR. So the book Tubathon, please excuse Duke, he's having a really good time. <laughs> um, the book Tubathon is being hosted by Ariel Bissette, I believe. I'll leave all the information down below. It has its own YouTube channel and it takes place from July 30th through August 5th. So it actually ends on my birthday so I'm very excited to be participating this year um, the goal of the reading of the readathon is to basically read seven books in a week and if I'm being perfectly honest there's no way I'm going to be able to do that so I'm gonna count myself successful if I complete four of the challenges or read four books but I have a TBR for all of them here so without further ado let's just get into the TBR so the first challenge is to let a coin toss decide your first read and for that I have picked either the Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine or The School of Good and Evil, A World Without Princes by Somana Chinini. This is the second book in the um, Ever After, I believe it's called, um, series. And I read the first book, really, really loved it. So this will be heads, this will be tails, and let us see what book I'm reading for the readathon. Heads. So, I'm going to be reading The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine. I believe this is a Snow White retelling, or it's some sort of fairy tale retelling. So, that is the first book on the TBR. The next challenge is to read a book about something you want to do. And this might be a little bit of a stretch, but I'm going to do it. And I wish I were a mermaid, so I'm going to read The Mermaid by Christina Henry. This is um, a story about a mermaid who gets captured by P.T. Barnum and it's that story. I really enjoy Christina Henry's writing. I have read her Alice in Red Queen duology which is an Alice in Wonderland incredibly dark retelling. I've also read Lost Boys by her which is a very dark Peter Pan retelling. I loved the Lost Boys book so much. I felt like the other two books let me down a little bit but the story itself was really good, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one, and I'm hoping it's going to be fabulous. The next book is to um, read and watch a book-to-movie adaptation. So for that one, I'm going to read The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. I have already seen the movie, and I it is so heartbreaking but so good at the same time. So I'm definitely going to pick this up and read it and I'm hoping to watch the movie again. I've been wanting to watch the movie again for a really long time. So this book is basically about a young man whose daughter, his youngest daughter is murdered and he gets a letter saying come meet me at the shack which is where his daughter was murdered. Now he has one with a squeaky. It's okay. Shh. So and he meets God at the shack, and it's that story. So definitely want to, Duke, do you mind? Definitely want to read this and rewatch that movie. The next challenge is to read a book with green on the cover. So I chose The Laughing Corpse by Laurel K. Hamilton. It's a pretty short book. I believe it's under 300 pages. Shh, shh, shh. He just wants to be a part of the video so bad. And um, this is the second book in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. So I figured this would hopefully be a quick read to get through for the readathon. Challenge number five is to read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. I don't know if I'm actually going to wear a hat the whole time, but in case I do complete that challenge, I chose Binti by Nettie Corfor. This is the shortest book. It's not even 100 pages, so I can wear a hat during this. Um, and I believe that this is a really great sci-fi short story. There are three books in the series, I believe. So I picked this one up. I'm hoping to read it. There's no way I'm not reading this during this readathon. So this will definitely be read. Whether or not I wear a hat, that's another story. Hi, yeah. Okay, and challenge number six is to read a book with a beautiful spine and I chose The Surface Breaks by um, Louise O'Neill. This is a Little Mermaid retelling but I believe it has feminist um, like feminist tones to it. 
<laughs> and the spine is beautiful. The cover is more beautiful, but the spine is just as beautiful. So I definitely decided to pick this one. I've been wanting to read this so bad. Also under 300 pages. So I thought it would be perfect for this readathon. Hi, sweet boy. Yes, you are so sweet. And last but not least is to read seven books. Like I said before, that's probably not going to happen. But in case by some miracle it does, the last book that I have is The Stars... No, The Sun, The Moon, and The Stars by Stephen Brust. And I have had this book on my shelves for probably seven or eight years, and I've never picked it up. And it is like 202 pages. So hopefully I will read seven books or I'll get to this book during this readathon and I'll finally read it and decide whether I want it to stay on my shelves or not. But I, I have no idea what this is about, so hopefully I'll figure that out in the next week. So those are all of the books that I will be reading this month, or this month, this week, probably this month also, whatever I don't finish will be part of my August TBR. So that, that's it. Tell me in the um, comments down below what books you're planning on reading, or if you've read any of these books and your thoughts and opinions on them, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!